The Busy Bugs by Leanne Herring It was finally here, the big summer picnic held at the top of the garden. Little bugs everywhere excitedly scurried around in preparation. Snail sleepily stretched out of her shell. She had never been to such an event before. She looked up at the commotion all around her. Good morning, everyone, she smiled. But her friends didn't listen. They were far too busy. Snail started her long journey. It wasn't long before she spotted her friend Ladybug wobbling around in the air while trying to hold on to a large strawberry. Oh no, cried Ladybug. I dropped it. Just as she swooped down to get it, she noticed Snail slithering along. Sorry, Snail, I'm in such a rush, but you can have that strawberry I dropped if you want. And before Snail could reply, she zipped off. Zip! Snail took a little bite. I'd rather share this with my friend than eat it on my own, she thought to herself. Caterpillar was busily collecting leaves from his tree when he noticed Snail coming towards him. Caterpillar normally liked to travel with Snail, but realised he was running late for the picnic too. I'm sorry, Snail. I've got to go. Here, catch some of my leaves to munch on. Snail looked up as it rained delicious leaves and sighed. Oh, I love leaves, but I love company with Caterpillar more. Unknown to Snail, Spider had darted by many times and noticed that she appeared to look a little glum. I wonder why Snail looks so down, he thought to himself. I know, I'll spin a little web, cheer her up. Snail saw Spider's message. She wanted to say thank you, but he had also gone to the picnic without her. The picnic had started and Snail could see her friends in the distance. She tried to reach the top of the garden path as fast as her small foot could carry her. Has Snail arrived yet? Ladybug asked between mouthfuls of sticky strawberries. I hope she gets here soon, replied Caterpillar. Oh, the food is nearly gone. Suddenly, the garden filled with big grey clouds and rain poured down from the sky, ruining the picnic. Oh no, little bugs cried. All the picnic food is washing away. Spider, Ladybug and Caterpillar took cover under a nearby plant pot. The rain finally stopped. During the downpour, Snail was luckily able to shelter inside her shell. As she slowly peered out, she noticed her friends looking hungry and upset at the thought of the picnic being over. Unknown to her friends, Snail had stored the leaves and strawberry they had left for her on her journey earlier. I thought I would keep these to share with you all, if you have time that is. The busy bug suddenly realised that they had been a little selfish by trying to rush to the picnic without Snail. We are sorry, Snail, whispered Ladybug. Is there any way we can make it up to you? Snail smiled. Yes, there is one thing. Can you make sure the picnic is at the bottom of the garden next time? The end. <laughs>